T plus 40 seconds. It's one hell of a sight from here. We see it arcing right over top of us. We see 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. Coming up on maximum aerodynamic pressure, then only about a minute and a half until we get into hot staging. All right, hot staging, about 30 seconds. And definitely keep an eye on which way the booster peak that engine view, booster doing the boost back. <laughs> Chris, how's it looking over there in Hawthorne, man? It is looking chamber pressure. Only one way to really prove it out, and that's to get real-world data. So here comes Super Heavy. It should be. The cool part is when we get to reentry, it's going to be daytime. Yes, and we did that on purpose so that we can get some live daytime views as ship is returning back to Earth. All right, if you're just tuning in, we are about 30 minutes into today's flight test. And the ship is on its suborbital trajectory. As you can see in some of the views and from some of the telemetry, we are in a little bit of a spin. We did spring a leak in some of the fuel tank systems inside of Starship, which a lot of those are used for your attitude control. This is a contingency that is planned for and we clear the zones in the Indian Ocean where these entries could take place. Um, so we're not gonna come down exactly where we would have had nothing happened, uh, but we do clear a tremendous amount of uh, space out in the Indian Ocean um, in the event that we run into this. You always, we, we understand that there are always risks, essentially with these flight tests, with the hardware, uh, but we don't really accept any compromise when it comes to protecting people. And it is uh, one thing to note is we will actually still re-enter in our, our planned airspace zone. 